This is Twit. So now that the little balloon once man is was a whistling, man from Nantucket. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> and now that the little balloon man is whistling far, yes. and we do we have an update? Are are we ready to muggleize? Yeah, we think we are. We're getting there, we think so. Yeah. Okay, so that's but that. Microsoft won't say so far that this is. They have not RTM. said, but this is clearly. And it's if it's not this, it's going to be a point something of this. You know, this is yeah. I think it. And and Mary Jo, you say you think this is actually going to be called the Spring Creators Update, really? You know, they still haven't given us the name. That name's leaked out in a few different places wow. over time. And at this point, if they don't have another name, um, yeah, what's the difference? It's getting late. <laughs> Redstone Four works. Spring yeah. Creators Update. I like okay. Redstone Four. I really do. Eighteen oh three is perfect. I don't know why they can't yeah. just do that. Sound right. Yeah. So 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 there have been places. That yeah, it's been called that. It has. Yeah. Now yeah. that's not going to be confusing because we had a Spring Creators update yeah, right. last year. That's not going to. That's not going to. Well, that was actually yeah. just called the Creators update. Oh, that yeah. was the original Creators update, and then there mm -hmm. was the fall. Oh, well, this, but that would make sense. They're going to get yeah, into overloading we call this, this fall. fall. If they keep doing it. Overloading yeah. starts this fall. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, by the way, like I said, Xbox does the same thing. It's Spring yeah. update, you know, Fall update, some November update, sometimes whatever. They've never put a year on Actually, it. So in a way, that's kind of reassuring. It's just you know, like the seasons. Except. Except sometimes there's the old spring update and the new spring update also both in support at the same time. Yeah, right. That, right. right. That, no, that's true. Uh, I I guess, you know, again, this is this is just semantics. I mean, it, it kind of doesn't matter. But Call it bothers me when people <laughs> refer to Windows 10 version anything as anything something something update because the update is yeah. the thing that brings it to that version. I don't true. think Windows 10 Oh, now version, that is you know, really three. picky. That is really. I, that's picky. why I said it was semantics. <laughs> but I, you know, but it's version, not the version you're getting. Le you're Leo, getting Leo, Leo, the update. Listen to me, okay. Leo. Yeah, this is important. <laughs> it's not an update. It's, it's a, a release. It's a semi-annual <laughs> channel. <laughs> listen, just gotta, to be precise. Oh, it's a suck. A you got to give me this. I'm sorry, sack. Sack. What, it's a sack. <laughs> Yeah, Semi-annual channel. Semi channel. Sack. Sack. <laughs> anyway, all right, when, 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 when? It's going to start happens? rolling out in April, Somebody. we know, to well, mainstream. I believe but it's we don't uh, have the, the end of March eight. right now. Yes. We saw be some rumors soon. about this, didn't we? Um, as yeah. As soon as, oh, I think people were talking about Patch Tuesday. which is Yeah, the first Patch Tuesday. Tuesday. The 10th, uh, is where, that right? April 10th or days. somewhere around there? Because mm -hmm. they tend to roll these, start rolling them out on Patch Tuesdays. So, yep. oh, that that's interesting. Make... So the first, so Tuesday actually is the third of April. So it could be as soon as well, the, the second, second Tuesday second is traditionally Tuesday. second Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, so it'd be the tenth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, that makes sense. We're, that's a guess when yeah. it may start rolling. That makes sense. Yeah, I see, yeah, I don't remember. Someone was talking about this on Twitter, but I don't. I know. I saw that too. Uh, maybe it was um, Zach at Windows Central. Zach Bowden, maybe. No. Somebody was. What are we? So, uh, so, the, so you're using no. pro, in all likelihood, Paul. You're using the RTM or something off. I better be. Close. I just switched every one of my computers over to this thing. So <laughs> you have confidence. This is the final. Version. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if it isn't literally the final, um, and there are always these updates to the curve between whenever they finalize right. it, and whenever they release it to mm -hmm. the public. So there's going to be cumulative updates. This it, they could rev this thing. There could be another build to the Windows Insider program that's. This build number point, you know, two or three or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is clearly it, um, as clear as it can be, we given done. the mud that we're given. We yeah. done. Yeah. So, uh, anything new? Uh, I mean, are we kind of these? They must have frozen no. features months ago. Yeah, we're, we were just reviewing <laughs> really the features ago, because, you know, what? you kind of forget because we get all caught up yeah. in like this build has this little thing and this right. build has that. But if somebody says to you, what is in Redstone 4? What is, what am I going to get when I get Redstone 4? And then you have to go back and go, okay, what are you going to get in Redstone 4? Well, I mean, timeline all, is the obvious, right? It's Well, that's the big one. But honestly, I don't think a lot of people are going to even notice timeline. <laughs> you know, I know, it's kind of because um, the apps aren't ready for it, right? So, Well, you know, that's interesting. So let me see if I, what I get on this computer because it's this is different. But I was looking at this on my other computer. And, yeah, so on this computer, it actually shows Markdown uh, Markdown Pad 2, which is the, you know, the mm. text editor that I okay. use. There's no way that app supports this feature natively. It isn't supported, uh, mm. the app itself, that is. 
Um, it shows websites. I'm using Edge right now, so I don't know yeah. what that means exactly. I don't see any Chrome stuff in here. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, it's unclear. Maybe if it's document-based, it just happens. I, I'm just guessing there because I can't explain why Markdown Pad would be in there. Yeah. But like I said, I don't see any ed, um, Chrome activity. I don't think Chrome is supposed to be in there at all, right? I don't see it. No. So that would that kind of make. I only have a few days of data, unfortunately. Yeah. On, on this computer. Yeah. So sets didn't make it in. Sets is a Redstone Five thing, but timeline is. So it it would have been better if you had timeline and sets together, because then I think that would have made it work more like what people are thinking it's going to be like. Exactly, um, because you could go back to a point in time and say, <laughs> right. "Open this thing in a set." Right. You know, and it could be all of those application windows at that point in time. Yep. In its own you know, kind of single window with tabs. Yeah, yeah. But that's not going to be there yet. So it's like timelines there, no sets. Um, but another one that is there, because we, we've been covering it, and especially Paul has, PWA is there, PWA mm -hmm. support. Um, yeah. In fact, today we saw a partial list of the sessions that are going to be at Build, and PWA is listed as one of them, so... Thank goodness Finally. they're going to talk about that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, seriously, they re I, they haven't advertised anything like that. I know. Uh, ever, <laughs> if no. I'm not mistaken. I mean, I know. yeah. So that's good. So, yeah. <clears throat> how how does that appear? Do you uh, do you go to the store and well, then can yeah, you tell so, what's happening? Even I mean, no, no, no. I mean, um, if they didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. That's right, and 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 that's the point, right? And it, you, you could go back know. to Windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could go back to Windows 8, and and the application platform at that time supported development using various languages and uh, various frameworks and so forth. And one of them was JavaScript. And so uh, I think the early, um, you know, mail calendar apps and so forth were Windows Live productions. They were done in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And if you if you weren't told that, I don't think anyone would look at that app and say this is a web app. You know, like I right. I, I don't think anyone would ever know that. Um, and so yeah, the goal with PWA is that there just it, there should just be more apps in the store. And hopefully, mm -hmm. and for some people, they might be familiar, right? Because some of the famous ones that we see out in the world will probably appear in the store. And uh, if you use them on Android or whatever, you, you say, oh, I, you know, I know this app. Yeah. Like, this is this is what I want to see on Windows as well. Well, like Twitter is an example, right? Twitter's going to mm -hmm. be PWA app in the store yeah. supported yeah. In, in Redstone 4. So, That's right. yeah, it's interesting, though. Like, it, the, the way you will know it works is if people don't know. That they're using a yeah, PWA, right, exactly. basically. <laughs> if you wanted the to people, investigate, you could probably look on the disk and see man manifests and stuff, right? There'd be some sort of yeah. You could you could try to discover why a 245 byte PWA has turned into a 10 megabyte <laughs> UWP, <laughs> you know, because of all the unbelievable you know cladding that they have to throw around it. Um, and then there are the really technical people, like I just two people on Twitter is kind of classic right before this, the show were complaining. Well, I was complaining about this. Um, you know, please review my app pop up that appears in the Twitter app now, and uh, it's like, oh, it's a great first impression of PWAs. It's like, what are you talking about? Right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> if, hey, this has nothing to do with PWAs. This is the store popping this thing up. It's a store process, yeah. but more to the point, nobody, nobody's having first impressions of PWAs. There's no impression having, at all. First, right. Yeah, it's an impression of an app. You but know, it, but it, it started. The app started uh, as a as a web page, so you. Or, yeah. or do you go to the store? To, I mean, you get it as a no, web you go page. to the store. So oh, you go to the in, store. In, okay. Yeah. In RS4, discoverability only happens through, and actually I should say, installation only happens through the store. Microsoft has talked about their desire to have these PWAs pop up in search results. If I, if you went to search and said, I want a Twitter app, you know, at the topic, it's, hey, you're running Windows 10. You should, you know, click here to install the Twitter app. Right. Um, but that does not, that's not happening in RS4. Um, so that's something, something for the future. That's how it works in Android, right? You you just come across a website that is a PWA and it advertises itself either very explicitly with a banner at the yeah. bottom or you can just go through the, you know, the menu add to, I think it says add the home screen or whatever the, the text is. Okay. I mean, in theory, you could also get it uh, eventually. You'd be able to get it in a web browser, right? You'd browse yeah, to it. That's the plan. Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. But so for right now, all right. And will it say in the store, like, you know, have some special mark that says PWA? It has the it is a six 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 right under the about box. <laughs> the mark, um, the mark of the beast. Um, yeah, it's, on, right it's there. name okay. is Legion. Okay. Its version <laughs> number is Legion. Um, no, I don't believe there's they're going to call it out in any way. 
Uh, just like right now, you don't know something's a hosted web app in the store, right? I mean, it, there's nothing that right. says, this is a hosted right. web app, right? It's UWP. Right, exactly. They don't, but, uh, yeah. people don't think like this. Nobody, you know, we didn't call out yeah. the fact that it was a C++ app before either. So right. I, I, normal people, no people. I mean, most people just don't care about that kind of thing. No. People just don't understand. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> once they do. Once they do. Uh, yeah. Are we in S mode yet? S mode? Are we smodified? <laughs> So that should yeah. be something that arrives around the time of Redstone 4, that um, there'll yeah. be S mode for Windows Home, Windows Pro, and Enterprise. That sh those should all be ready to go. So um, this, is a, this is something I'm very curious about. There's two yeah. ways that this is going to pop up. One is going to be on new PCs, and we know right. there'll be Windows 10 Home and Pro systems that will be shipping in S mode mm -hmm. sometime in the next three to six months or whatever, um, and probably it intensifies over time. But Microsoft releases ISOs for people to download of uh, Windows yeah. 10 so they can install yeah. the system cleanly or whatever. And the version that they have today for uh, 1709 does include Windows 10 S. And I'm expecting that the version they'll release for RS4 will include mm -hmm. both Windows 10 Home and Pro in S mode as choices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, because that's what you would want if you, uh, well, <laughs> it might be what you want. If you got a computer that came in S mode and you liked S mode, that's what you wanted. And you were going to blow away the system and use Microsoft's uh, web-based tools to do it. It's, that should be an option. And it was for the last one. So I think it will be for the next one too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and switching will be free for everyone. Microsoft did confirm that. So if you, if yep. you use Per, um, S mode in any of the versions of Windows, you'll be able to move off of it for free and not pay that $49 yeah. that you were going yeah. to have to pay. <laughs> yeah. Does this impact our uh, our beautiful little uh, HP x 2s in any way? Yeah, a little bit. So I, I have a little bit in the notes about that machine, and I'd like to touch on that. We'll get to that. Then, right. if that's yeah, okay, because that. yeah. that it's a, a big it's a big part of the story because Windows 10 on ARM is an interesting. It's not right to call it a subset or a superset, but it's a it's something over the side of S mode um, because mm. even when you're not in S mode, you're kind of still in S mode, yeah. <laughs> you know, in some right. way. It's interesting. Yeah. It, it's it's. It's a different thing again, which is great because this isn't complex enough already. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it S mode or not? It's not considered well, S mode. No, what I mean, okay. So I, I wanted to nope, hold save, screen, it, save, I, it, save it. Save it. Save it. Let's talk let's about save it. Let's save it. W D A G. Yeah. In so Fresno. You know, <laughs> we don't. We don't know a lot about the enterprise features and or the security features yet in Redstone Four. Like we've had little hints of the, about some of them, but. We haven't had a, like a whole giant blog post of things like here's all the stuff you're going to get if you're a business customer. Figure they're they're going to do that at some point. But one of the things they did talk about is Windows Defender Application Guard um, going to pro and not just being limited to enterprise. So that's a really big deal because WDAG uses Hyper V to isolate potential malware and exploits. So it kind of like containerizes something that could be malicious. And this is a feature that frankly, would be good for everyone, but at least now it's going to be in pro as of Redstone 4. Hmm. Okay. But otherwise, I was trying to think of like other enterprise-y things. Like we've heard, we've had little bits and pieces of kind of tweaks they're making, but is there any other big enterprise feature that we've heard about for Redstone 4? I don't think I, so. I got to be honest. Um, I don't think there are any truly big features in this except for yeah. timeline. And yeah. because that's not really going to impact that many people, you could kind of make mm. the argument it's not itself a big yeah. feature. So True. in some ways, this release does satisfy your call for I know. an R2 release, right? Because it, does. Yep. It, 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 you know, obviously there are tons of little improvements and I'm sure, and I'll mm -hmm. do this because I'll be updating the book like an idiot as I go through it. You, I'm going to, I'll notice 100 tiny little changes, but as far yeah. as, um, as big stuff, yeah, I don't know that there is any. I, I would I would say that the fluent design changes are going to be the most noticeable to most people, because and especially, it's especially true if you use the built-in applications. I know you won't you won't see it, but you know, in things like Microsoft <laughs> Edge or um, a bunch of the other built-in apps, uh, Mail and Calendar actually too. You know, there's there's a lot more translucency effect going on. I, I like it. I mean, I I, I I sort of understand the need for a for this to get everywhere else in the system and B 
for there to be choices, right? Because right now we have yeah. that one style. It's called acrylic. I think it looks good, but I think there's room in there for three to five or whatever number of other, not themes, but whatever, you know, uh, whatever you want. I don't know what to call it. It's like a filter almost. Um, yeah. Different styles mm -hmm. of some kind. But, um, I, you know, it's kind of lipstick on the pig in a way, but I... I mm. I, th I think it's attractive, not the pig thing, the um, the acrylic <laughs> stuff in Windows. You know, it's like, um, it just gives it a nice, it, it's, I don't know, people miss Aeroglass. It's kind of a little bit like that, yeah. except nicer it's and like more It's like when you move, when you move your cursor on a menu, it l makes it a little lighter so you it can see where your cursor is. It kind of ripples as you go. And it, yeah, things like the under, the stuff under the cursor responds right. to the cursor going over it, like a stone skipping across a pond. But it gives you a nice. visual cue <laughs> <laughs> that something will happen if you select that thing yeah. that, you know, is animating. Yeah. In fact, you know, I, I joke about how I can't see Fluent and I think it's kind of like, eh, who cares? They're making it prettier. But if you if you listen to Microsoft talk about Redstone 4 and in their yeah. developer sessions, the thing they always call out, like when they say, what's the biggest thing that developers should notice about Redstone 4? They always call out Fluent, always. They're like, this is the big thing. Like, yeah. this is going to be big, you know. Mary Jo, the new version of Calculator is a game changer. It, guys, <laughs> once once Notepad gets fluent, I don't know if I'll I'll be able to oh, live. I have yeah. bad news for you uh, with regards to that. Uh, <laughs> I think they're it's, not going to do it. I don't think they're going to because it's a desktop app, right? I, I, I mean, know. it's more likely that Notepad just they'll gets deprecated. It, it, no, or they make you, Notepad UWP. At some point, right? Yeah, they'll call it Notepad 3D, and you'll be able to insert 3D <laughs> emojis into your text. Yeah, that'll be amazing. Yay. 